All right, hey everybody. Today we're going to do a quick thumbstick locomotion tutorial based off the VR pawn in the VR template in Unreal. Um, so you just go ahead and open up your VR pawn, access the blueprint. Uh, we're going to disable the teleportation and we're going to disable the teleportation. Uh, take those event handles out and that'll turn off the rest of the code. You can leave the code in there so you can go back to teleportation later if you want. Um, okay, and here is the very, very simple thumbstick movement. Uh, first, we're going to start with the input access on our uh, motion controller thumb left, X. That'll be your left to right movement. Um, this is going to give you a strafing movement, which will allow you to uh, strafe. <laughs> Okay, uh, so come here and grab your camera component, drag that into the scene, and then click uh, type get right vector. Uh, that'll get you your get right vector, and then you're going to plug that into a project vector onto plane. Uh, your V will be your return value from your get right vector. Your, this is to make sure that your vision plane um, doesn't lift you up off the ground, the Z plane. So you're going to set your plane normal to 1 on that in the Z column, and uh, that'll help you um, stop from flying, You don't, unless you want to fly. If you want to fly, you can always change that stuff. Uh, we're going to return value. We're going to multiply that by the axis value that we got from our input. So we're going to vector times float. Uh, I realize you can't see my submenus here. I'm sorry. It's just something that the Windows recording device I haven't quite figured out yet but uh, so times vector and float we're gonna multiply those two right there and then add that to our add actor world offset as our delta location okay so uh, input axis motion controller thumb left Y uh, same idea get your camera component this time we're gonna get the get forward vector uh, project that onto a plane same plane Z plane one then we're going to return value, multiply that by its axis value, and add that to our delta location. So you can easily also uh, change your movement. If you don't want the head-mounted display to drive your forward vector, you can always change that to wherever your motion controller is pointing or wherever the input axis is pushing. And there you have it. That will provide you with simple locomotion. Compile, save, and... Oh, okay. So, one quick thing. If you have not done this from the VR Palm, if you're doing it on your own VR system, just make sure you go to your mapping in uh, input. So that's project settings, input. And then go to your access mapping. And then motion controller thumb left Y and motion controller thumb left X. Make sure it's negative 1 for the Y, 1 for the X. Uh, that's just the math involved. Okay, so you see here the right hand doesn't work. Left hand, now I'm moving forward. I'm going to move wherever I look. And then I'm also going to be able to strafe left and right and move backwards if I press back. Oh, that was a line trace. Uh, that's a, for the next tutorial. The pawn is moving a bit slow, so we can always add another multiplier to our access value before we do an in, uh, input it into our equation, and that will allow us faster movement. So that is how you do movement. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful, and I will see you guys in the next video.